So if you followed my channel for a very long time, you know that I have a thing for file managers. I highly enjoy these things and I make videos about them fairly often. I don't make videos about them every week, but I do make videos about file managers a lot. I am well known for the fact that Crusader is my favorite Linux app. It's a file manager with a ton of features and I love it. It's fantastic. I don't have it installed right now because I'm on GNOME and I'm trying to avoid installing Plasma apps when I don't need to simply because I don't want to have to download the entire Plasma stack. So I have been on the search for a good GTK file manager. Thunar seems to be it and I've made a video about Thunar before so I don't really need to talk about where I'm actually going but in the process of searching for something cool I came across a file manager that I've never heard of before, that I should have heard of before, and that has been around for almost 30 years at this point, well, 25 years or so. It's been around for a long time, so I should have heard about it, right? But I don't think that many people actually have. So today we're going to be taking a look at a little known file manager from the GNOME guys that you may not have heard of before. So I guess it's little known. You that probably means you've never heard of before. It's a sentence that made much more sense in my head. We'll just leave it there. But anyways, the app we're looking at today is called Gnome Commander. Now, I tooted about this on Mastodon, and I got a couple of responses saying, well, this is just Midnight Commander, but it's not. <laughs> it's absolutely inspired by Midnight Commander, but it's not actually Midnight Commander. I thought that it was, but it's not, as far as I can tell. So, let's actually take a look at this thing. I'm not going to go too far into the weeds in terms of features and stuff like that. I'll leave you guys to play around with it, but I, I'll talk about it a little bit. But really, the whole point of this is just to say that this thing's been around for 25 years, and how did we not know that it was actually a thing? So, we're going to take a look at Midnight Commander, or excuse me, Gnome Commander. So, this here is Gnome Commander. And as you can see by the look of it, it is definitely easy to think that it is in fact just a GNOME version of Midnight Commander. And it is kind of that. It's not forked from it though. And a lot of people think that this is just a GTK wrapper around Midnight Commander. And as far as I can tell from reading the Wikipedia page and their website, nowhere on their website itself does it say anything about Midnight Commander. Nowhere on their GitLab page does it say anything about Midnight Commander. Now, in the Wikipedia page, it does say that it was based on the style of Norton Commander, which is the predecessor to Midnight Commander. So, it doesn't say forked from, it says based on, which I'm going to assume means inspired by, because this isn't actually something that really feels like Midnight Commander, in terms of actual functionality, because there's things here that actually don't work in Midnight Commander. So actually, let's take a look at Midnight Commander. This right here is what Midnight Commander actually looks like. And there is some mouse functionality inside of Midnight Commander, but it's a terminal application. So you can go up here and open up files with your mouse if you want to, but there's no like drag and drop. You can't drag one thing from another as far as I can tell. And you know, you wouldn't expect to be able to. It's a, it's a terminal file manager. But it's been around for a very long time. It does have some mouse stuff. And that's what it looks like. And you can tell that GNOME Commander is definitely inspired by it. The color scheme is the same. It kind of looks like a terminal type file manager. But this is a GTK2 based file manager. And when I heard that, I was like, well, then it's definitely not still maintained. It actually is still maintained. There was some commits four days ago on their GitLab. And the la while the last release was last year, they're still actually working on this thing. So this thing has been around since 2001, at least according to the about thing. So if we go to the about here, we can see that it has a, a copyright all the way back to 2001. So it has been around a long time. I've never actually heard of it before. I found it just on random Google. So what is this thing? It is obviously a dual pane file manager. And if you look at it and think, well, that's just Midnight Commander, that I think is going to be not as generous to what this thing actually is as it should be. Because this does so much more. So I can, in fact, if I want to, say just, you know, drag this over here and it actually has drag and drop support. So I can, you know, copy that there if I want to do whatever I want. That's cool, right? It also allows me to have a, like a horizontal, a horizontal view of it, so I can have the panels on top and the bottom if I wanted to. There is there's a whole connection tab, so you can actually get to different 
devices and mounted drives and stuff. It has a bookmark section. There are, are apparently plugins, but you only see a couple of them here. And, you know, I don't think, I, I mean, you guys who have used Midnight Commander before, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that there's actually plugins for Midnight Commander. Maybe there are, and I don't know. I've never actually used Midnight Commander extensively, so it's possible there's a, a whole plugin ecosystem for Midnight Commander that I don't know about. Completely possible, but I'm not sure about that. For sure, there's plugins here for Gnome Commander, and there's different view settings. Obviously, you, if we take a look at the options, there are. This is, looks very much like the Thunar settings panel in terms of a lot of things, right? It also has tabs, so you can. <sighs> see how tabs work and how they you know control how they work you can control the layout in terms of the font one thing it will even allow you to change the so if you don't if you don't want to use the traditional midnight commander theme you can just use your regular old gtk theme so this actually looks much better to me now all of that is like really cool right and there are more features like you can it will actually open up a terminal for whatever reason it does keep it as really transparent for some reason. I don't know why. You can create sim links and hard links and all sorts of stuff. All the stuff you do with a traditional dual pane file manager is really here. This is very close to some of the features that Crusader offers. It does have all of the features, obviously, but I'm actually quite surprised at how many features this actually has, even beyond what you'd expect, you know, because it would kind of look like Midnight Commander, which is, while it does have features, is a terminal file manager. But it does have some limitations. So first off, there's no image preview here, as far as I can tell. Like, all of these here are images, and there's no way to make this bigger. So if I go up to the view tabs, there's no way to, to zoom in. There's no way to turn on thumbnail preview, none of that stuff. And because there's no thumbnail preview, it leads me to believe that it is closer to Midnight Commander than I thought it was. But again, it's still, there's nothing out there that says this has been forked from Midnight Commander. I might be wrong and I just haven't found that thing, but I've scoured their website and I've looked at their GitLab page and I have, I found no indication that they have anything to do with Midnight Commander outside of the Wikipedia page. And you would think that if they were forked from Midnight Commander, right, that they would actually say that they were forked from Midnight Commander or at least based on it or inspired by it or whatever as far as i can tell on their website this right here is the only mention of midnight commander period on their website like all these other three just have the words mid in them and it has nothing to do with midnight commander and this has nothing to this says nothing about it being based on it or forked from it so you'd think like i said that if it was in fact forked from it it would say that they're not just going to steal the code so this is a very interesting file manager I don't think that it's a very usable one without image preview, and maybe there's image preview there somewhere, and I just don't know about it because I've only been looking at it for a few hours since I found it. But I thought it was very interesting because I'd never heard of it before. And maybe I'm being a little, you know, I don't know, egocentric or, you know, narcissistic or something like that when I think, you know, if there's a file manager out there, I've probably at least heard of it before. Maybe I've not tried all of them, but I've definitely heard of all of them, or at least I thought so, but I'd never seen or heard of Gnome Commander before. Where's this thing been for the entire time I've been using Linux? I've, I mean, I've searched for file managers before, best file managers. I've done that search in Google many times. I've never seen one mention of Gnome Commander before yesterday. That's weird. <laughs> it's just a little weird. And the fact, I, like, it would have been different if it had been an abandoned project, right? If it's been something that, you know, hadn't been developed in the last 10 years or whatever, then, okay, well, I mean, there's a good chance. There's a lot of stuff that stopped being developed 10 years ago that I've never heard of before. This one's still being developed, and the fact that, you know, I kind of missed out on it is a little weird. So one of the things that I'm actually kind of astonished by is how many features that it actually does have. You can basically make it look however you want. If you want just one panel, you can make it just one panel. If you want to have the panels on top and bottom, like I showed, you can do that. If you want to use it all with the keyboard, you can do that because it has highly customizable keyboard shortcuts as well, which is kind of awesome. You know, it, it, it feels actually more inspired by Crusader than it does Midnight Commander in some ways outside of the OG color scheme, which it has at the beginning, and obviously the lack of image preview and file tree support. So, Gnome Commander, 
It's the file manager that hardly anybody has ever heard of. Now, I know, I know, given the title that I'm sure I'm going to use for this video, that there's someone in the comment section below like, oh, I've heard it. I've been using it for years. Or, I, you know, I, I, I've known about this since 2001. I'm sure that there are many people who have actually heard of this before. But I don't think most people have. And I think that that justifies my interest in it. So, that's GNOME Commander. I will leave links to it in the video description below if you want, guys want to check it out. It's actually available in the OpenSUSE regular repository. So, I'm assuming that it's probably also available in like Ubuntu and Debian and Arch Linux. Obviously, it would be in Arch Linux. But the vast majority of distros out there probably have it in their main repositories. Which is, again, another reason why I should have definitely have heard of it before but i haven't so there you go anyways you can leave any comments you have on this in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you you can follow me on mastodon or odyssey those links will be in the video description you can support me on patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast thanks to everybody who does support me on patreon and youtube you guys are all absolutely amazing without you the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now so thank you so very much for your support i truly do appreciate it if you'd like to support me again patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast you can also head on over to the store which is available at shop that the linuxcast.org there you'll find all sorts of awesome merch including t-shirts and hats and hoodies and desk mats and all sorts of stuff it's all amazing and you should check it out shop that the linuxcast.org thanks everybody for watching i'll see you next time